Welcome back to Riverside Royals Dynasty. Week 15, we've got Hawaii, and then that is the last game of the season before the bowl week. We are bowl eligible at 6-5, and five, but today the biggest thing is going to be recruiting. Now, that was also the biggest thing last episode, and we did not come to play. Two losses against Army and Stanford, not what we wanted, but we do have a visit scheduled for today. And of course, all these guys already came in for visits, like to Keith and Kasher. It was a big focus, got some points for him. And that's part of why our offense really struggled. Really only focusing on getting the balls into the hands of our tight ends. And it just uh, it just didn't go that well offensively. Demond Horton's coming in today. He is our only recruit scheduled for right now. And we will probably get another one in there. Big goal is just to win. Two sacks with a linebacker. I'm not going to force it today. And this is a player I want from Paducah, Kentucky. Got decent-ish speed but he can really tackle 77 speed 90 acceleration but 88 tackling 83 play rec zone coverage is not so bad now he can't rush the passer at all his block shedding is terrible at 38 but he's a very interesting build junior college guy 6'7 242 he's an interesting type player and the other player I want to bring in for a visit is Newark California's own Belquan Izubu 6'2", about 270. He's fine. And we might be able to bring him in. We'll get him in on a visit today. That'll also get extra points for our outside linebacker that's coming in. Of course, Demond Horton. Big goal today is, though, just win. We're playing Hawaii. They're 5-6. and six, Last game of the season. We are bowl eligible regardless. We will be playing in a bowl game. But the goal for today, obviously, is just win. End on a high note. Let's try and steal some of these recruits. Horton and Izubu, both on campus today. And the name of the game, get sacks. Have three sacks with the D-line. Going to be tough, but possible. And have two sacks with linebackers. Again, tough, but possible. We'll see how much Hawaii chooses to throw the football versus run. You know, in current games, and I think a change they'll make in EA Sports College Football, is, I mean, getting three sacks with D-line is kind of a crazy goal. But getting maybe three TFLs, slash sacks, slash force fumbles, fumble recoveries, interceptions. Getting three of any of those combined, you know, that's doable. And it doesn't really force you into, you know, one thing or another. Now, I will say, in terms of actual recruiting, you know, if you're a receiver, you know, you, you want to see the receivers that play at the school that's recruiting you, you want to see them go off. In the same way that if you play defensive end and the defensive ends are incredibly productive, you would think, oh, maybe you might be incredibly productive. There's some type of option play here. McBride can't wrap up. Teray with a big hit. So, you know, production does matter and maybe forced fumbles or interceptions are even more circumstantial. But in the video game, it gives you a little bit you know, more paths to success. And I think that's important. Here's second and nine. More running here, kind of abandon the gap. That's my fault. Broken tackle. Burnett comes back to make the play. Adam White gets seven. Looks like they're going to be running the football quite a bit, which would make sacks, you know, tough to come by. Here's third and two. Bray going to take over the tight end here. It's going to be a QB dive. QB power type play. Larkin loses a yard. Jared Bird on the TFL. And Hawaii, I expect to punt here. They're backed up a little bit too far to go for it, in my opinion, on fourth and three. Maybe if you're at like the 45 or the 50, you'd consider it. But this is a little bit too deep in your own end zone. As Mario Gardner is back to return and shut down. Let's get things started with our running back, Daniel Belcher. And he's already getting out into space, but doesn't have the speed to turn it into more than seven. The potential on that was actually crazy. And unfortunately, with just 84 speed for Daniel Belcher, he just doesn't quite have that extra gear after the cut, like the cutback or, you know, the jump cut outside. Just doesn't have the extra gear to turn that into a touchdown. If he's got like 90 speed, maybe that's a touchdown. 84 speed, you can get caught. And you can't quite get to the corner as quickly. So I wouldn't say it's frustrating, but 
you know, obviously it feels like missed opportunities as we are nearly baited by the linebacker, maybe actually successfully, more than maybe. It was tough. Just try to throw it over him. A lob would have worked better, but went for the bullet pass. Not accurate. They're going to blitz here, and the running back was wide open. The ball's tapped up into the air and finally falls incomplete. Needed to get that out to the running back. We accidentally call hurry up going for the catch. All right. An auspicious start to this one. Not what we want. We're faced with third and ten. See what the Hawaii defense brings. We'll throw over the middle. There's Harris. Nice throw and nice catch. David Harris for 18. Got to have it on third down. And we got it. Dart from Garrett Geary. Good route as well. Harris creates just enough separation. Ball gets there right when it needs to be. You like that. That's safe. He's going to blitz. Can we get some blocks here? You can see Belcher just does not have that extra gear. I know he was like our prized rec uh, recruit of last season. We were really excited for his freshman year. He's a short yardage back. Just does not quite have, you know, game-breaking speed. And I think that's important. And we're sacked. Didn't have time. I, I knew the blitz was coming, but didn't know where to go with the football immediately. And Vincent just came in unblocked, obviously. Just couldn't get rid of the football. Actually did try to. But probably better to just take the sack there than you know, throw a pick or even fumble. Third and 13. I'm, I'd am i like to scramble, I think, with Geary here. Play for a long field goal. I'm going to streak my outside options. Anoke could obviously win on the outside. Tried to throw it. Too late, I guess. Sacked by Buck Silva. And yeah, we're going to have to punt. Sucks at this, you know, spot of the field. But uh, you can't, just can't afford to get sacked in those spots. It's a huge drive killer. Punt is not great. Decent enough. Didn't want to deal with a touchback. And it's going to be worse than a touchback. So nothing's going right so far. Got to figure it out. Okay, how did the quarterback get through that? Thought we were easily going to make that tackle with Burnett, but got blocked somehow. And it's going to be a run-happy offense today. Quarterback already has run three times. The running back, White, has obviously had a, a couple of carries in there as well. They want to run the football one way or another, and that's going to be a nice tackle there from Holt. But Larkin gets two. Doesn't count as a sack. Probably wouldn't have if he was tackled behind the line either, just because it looked like he was... You know, already committed to the scramble. May have counted as a sack. They don't always, though. Here's second and eight. Got to be aware of that running back. And man coverage. And it's going to be a counter run. And it's successful. This running attack's been tough so far. All right, we're going to dare them to pass the ball. Now, they're going... Let's pass commit. We're in goal line here. And it works out pretty well. They tried some type of quick screen. I think if we can force this QB to pass, that's when this offense is going to find some trouble. When they're running the ball as much as they are, they're doing it so successfully, they're just killing us. We really can't defend the run. But, my goodness. We can force him to pass, though. Who knows? 23 yards from Larkin. I mean, got to figure out a way to stop this. This is bad right now. Really bad. Because they're going with so many different option plays. they I think we need to just call our own plays here and keep linebackers on the field. We have no 4-3 package, which is tough. 4-6 gives us an option. I don't love it, though. I want more linebackers. I know a 3-4 sounds like more linebackers, but it's not the way I want. I want them off the ball. Might try 3-4, though, but... This is also an option. Can anyone make the tackle on this guy? I know 4-6 is kind of built to stop the run. But I just, I get worried about some of these matchups. We just can't get out there. Larkin under pressure, and down he goes. Finally! Brett Johnson on the sack. Rare production from him, but it happens from time to time. Third and five. We're going to run more out of 4-6. I usually don't call the plays, but 
I think it has to happen today because I'll rip my hair out watching this running attack just kill us. We know this QB wants to run. Don't let him run. Throwing across the middle. Touchdown. Am I, am I playing against Johnny Football, dude? He's, I mean, unbelievable. That's actually not... Oh, God. All right. Gonna be 7 nothing Hawaii. Not gonna lose composure here already. I mean, I already have, but... Just, it's just a touchdown. Extremely frustrating drive. And we're gonna get sacked again. Ball comes loose, recovered by Hampton in the end zone. Safety. Vincent keeps coming in unblocked. I mean, their blitzes are just killing me. All right. Second and eight. More running of the football. I mean, look, my safeties are back on their heels. It's a touchdown. We can't tackle. No one wants to come up and make a, a hit. Playing scared. Offense sucks. This is unreal. I mean, our defense also sucks, as you can tell. But it, we, I just... More screens, more running the ball. If they're going to blitz the way they are, we can't try to pass regularly. It has to be screens and running. All right, change starts now. Here we go. We're going to wake up. Belcher. I mean, getting shifty, showing some wiggle. Go three down lineman again. Blitz Vincent. I love it. There goes Belcher. All right, the run is really, it's being established and maybe a little bit too late. Maybe a bit too late because obviously we're already down 16. Just sometimes you kind of get in one of those phases where like we got to pass back into this one or... No, so we're at this spot of the field. Don't really want to risk it with the running back yet. It gets even worse with the QB. Quick passes. No, really working the field. I think one of the main problems I fall into with the coach suggestions is that when they're all passes, it's easy to just click a pass, okay? And... Sometimes I get in that phase where, okay, I see pass. Let's just run the play that's called. Instead, we got to audible to uh, something else that works. And our running game is what has worked a lot of this year. Not always. It has not always worked. So there are times when you do need, uh, do need to pass. And you can mix in you know, passes and runs. But we got to just keep the ball on the ground. Not get too crazy. And there's a no okay. Big time speed from our big receiver. First down. They want to keep blitzing. We need to keep making them pay for it. Vincent is a bitch. All right, third and five. I would call this four down territory on the basis of being down 16 nothing, closing in on halftime. Would have gone for it if we got stopped there, 100%. Making it 16 to three doesn't really move the needle for me, but not even something we have to worry about. We get the first down, and I like the idea of a wide receiver screen. Will they blitz in this spot? We'll see. And okay, drops it. One of those days, man. Second goal. Read option. Geary walks in and is hit in the end zone. Where's the flag? Unnecessary roughness. We should get the ball back. That just be, should be what it is. Should be, and we should get like a couple extra points. Like 16-10 and we get the ball back. We can take the lead with a touchdown. I like that. That should be what it is. All right. 16-7, six and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Defense. They need to play better. Obviously. We found a groove on offense. It's quick passes. It's running the football. It's screens, which I guess would kind of classify as a quick pass. Got to just keep doing what works. We're in a 3-4 over uh, type look here. Just, that kind of moves our backers off a bit. Nelson Burnett with a TFL. That's nice. I think we might try and stick in this formation. It's essentially, you know, four down, still three linebackers in the box, seven in the box total. Their safeties, they're, you know, playing that too high shell, but they can come up and tackle if need be. I think this is our best chance to stop the run. Larkin going to look to take off. One broken tackle. There's two. How about a third? 
Picks up 12. It will be third and one. If we can't tackle, it doesn't matter how many we have in the box. We're going to show the same look. We're just going to blitz everybody now. Zero blitz. Man everywhere else. Nobody's not accounted for to raise on the running back. We're going to blitz. Ah, uh, flat, wide open. Nobody on him? I guess not. He ends up being wide open. Oh, okay. Get out there! I mean, we know what it's going to be. We just can't do anything about it. I think... Here's what we're going to do. Coach adjustment. This is going to be the adjustment we make. Is now we know what it's going to be. QB contain. I want more open receivers. We're going to go... We're going to go balance. But the option defense, we're going to focus on the QB. And then... I will be able to get to the running back, I'm pretty sure. Now, that might be another, like opening a can of worms, right? Because if the quarterback's not scrambling, we might have to deal with somebody that's even better at running. And that concerns me. So I don't know. Maybe that's, you know, causing more problems. But shoot, I would say this is uh, this is not a good look from our defense. We're forcing the QB to throw the ball. He's not done anything impressive, but he can't stop it right now. Take a tackle. No, nobody even... Touchdown, Hawaii. It'll be 23-7. to Defense, I'd appreciate you doing anything. Our tackling is so bad. I mean, what are we supposed to do? We can't tackle anybody. I like an early screen here. Oh, sick throw from Geary. God, I hate you. I'd love to just see 40 creep up. That strong safety. They've blitzed him a lot. Stayed patient. We got blocks. Accelerate and okay. Broken tackle. Up the seam. Outruns Vincent. Nobody's going to catch him. Kahi Kalani and okay. 76 yard score. Oh my goodness. Didn't think that was going to work out like that. Dialed up a wide receiver rocket screen, is what I'd call it. Over the middle. And then it just worked out perfectly. He's able to accelerate in just enough time. And then outrun everybody. We stayed really patient on throwing it. Kind of baited it to the right. We just needed to get it behind that first defender. And then as soon as Anoke caught it, I'm like, okay, guaranteed. First down here ends up being a lot more than that. Our big play threat with a huge play. Saves a lot of time. Gives us an opportunity to score again before the end of the first half. The problem is we need to get the football back. We can't let Hawaii score. There's just quite literally no way we'll ever get back in the game if we let them score a touchdown every time they touch the ball. There's simply no way. I'll tell you, we're going to go conservative tackling here. Higher tackle chance. We don't get any big hits. That's fine. We don't really force any fumbles or incompletions anyway. Not that incompletions might even matter or factor into that. We just need to focus on actually tackling. Are they actually going to pass here? They are. Good tackle, though. Second and four is fine. We just... I mean, one TFL, right? That just kickstarts everything. We need one person to make a play one time. Give us an opportunity. Throw over the middle. It's allowing everything right now. Is that a touchdown? Good stuff as always. Man, it's frustrating. And it's so tough to use the linebacker over the middle to defend some of these runs. We got everything covered. And then we're trying to defend receivers. And then this tackle. Easy touchdown. This quarterback is a problem. But I don't see any way we can get back in the game when we're not tackling. We are making no plays defensively. I'm begging for something to happen. It's just not coming. Belcher's having a great game right now. We're going to find him in the passing game. Ooh, a couple broken tackles. I think we get the football back to start half number two. If we can make this the last possession of the half, go in 31-21, but we get the football back with an opportunity to you know, score right out of the locker room. Here, he don't get sacked here. Oh, he's got just enough speed. Don't get tackled. Garrett Geary getting it done with his legs. But if we can make this 
let's say everything goes right next two possessions it's 30 to 28 we should in all honestly go for or in all honesty go for two in that case right that would make sense to me try to make it 30 to 30. so i think if we score here going for two makes the most sense to me gives us an opportunity to have this be a true two possession game that's the focus we're under pressure no mistakes we're gonna throw it away could be a perfect time for a screen they read it decently belcher shut down completely that linebacker just ruins everything they want us to go for it on fourth and eight uh that's a tough down in distance because it's the end of the half i will at least line up they're giving us space on the outside do i trust these receivers to actually catch the ball i mean they're gonna have to all right i mean this is this is really going for it here open and okay caught broken tackle first and goal oh my goodness okay it's always really nerve-wracking when you throw to a receiver with drop concerns but a nice catch able to turn up field moves the chains 20 seconds 20 seconds to make something happen we're lined up QB draw that did not work we read that the whole way and it makes sense we call QB draw about once a season it makes sense they'd be super ready for that second and goal Lingard in motion we're gonna get on the move I see options I like Geary on the run here he gets four one timeout left now we're going four wide two by twos I should say third and goal we're running the football Belcher up the middle broken tackle stopped at the goal line final timeout I thought he had it should have run the ball earlier I tried I thought we'd catch him off guard with QB draw and I am not settling not at all settling for three need Ashley to just clear the way this is this is a dangerous call here but it's going to be everything working to the right side we're baking in a rollout here and we're scoring a touchdown Erie on the move on the run Tyler Ashley touchdown big fullback finds the end zone I don't know if he's caught a touchdown pass ever Erie thankfully throws it accurately and Ashley thankfully catches it he's so reliable in short yardage situations and of course they want us to go for it they don't we are going for it I explained why already making it an eight point game and based on the way they're lining up here I think we can run the ball on them offensive line with a push Belcher stops the blocking up front not good enough I'm curious I want to see the replay what is the problem we have five on three obviously becomes five on six we got combo blocks all over the place here's here's the issue is 77 our right guard ends up blocking nobody that's an issue you can combo block but foster then needs to get to the linebacker he never disengages uh with the defensive tackle leaving a wide open unblocked defender one-on-one -on -one against the running back as soon as he touches the that's the problem not getting that doesn't hurt us too bad if we take the extra point it's still guaranteeing that it's a two possession game would have been nine points now it's ten no real change there at all obviously like the correct decision is to go for two doesn't work out this time which is obviously extremely unfortunate but I mean you can't have missed assignments up front the offensive linemen need to block and when it doesn't happen, uh, you know, you don't get success. You don't find success. Last play of the first half will be a Hail Mary of sorts. Deep shot toward the end zone. And that is thankfully knocked down and falling incomplete. Down by 10, we get the football to start the third quarter. Let's have a better second half. Started to find it there a bit in the second quarter. Let's see if we're a second half team. Down by 10. Defense has got to step up. Offense, just keep doing what you're doing. Last three drives have all been touchdowns. That's encouraging. 
Let's keep it up. Who's this jet sweep going to go to? David Harris? It is. Do I like that? Let's try it. Belcher is a lead blocker. Some space open up a little bit. We get three. I mean, that's fine. Not anything to write home about, but it's fine. That safety's creeping up. I still want to run the ball against us. I wish I could get to a screen, honestly. We're just still going to run the ball against it. Just go the opposite way, obviously. Belcher broken tackle. Finds a way. Third and three. I mean, it's a maximum of six in the box, but it really isn't even that. We should be able to get this easily. All right, Belcher first down. We'll take it. In guard in motion. Didn't really get an opportunity to hit him, but Inoke comes open and put the football on the ground. Recovered by Belcher. Ends up being a fumble ruski of sorts. <laughs> And we're able to advance the ball successfully. Inoke has fumbled before. I don't think that was his first one. So that, I mean, it's almost becoming a problem at this point. I'm gonna try that mid-screen. And that is not successful. Timing was very different this time around. It was not notably to Kahi Kalani Inoke. We're running that screen and you know, Lingard gets bumped down. It kind of messes with the alignment. And where he ends up catching the football, there's no opportunity for run after catch there. And if you're going to run a screen, it's obviously all about run after catch. Throw on the run. Can't find an okay. Got to score in this drive. Third and 14. I mean, we could try to dial up that screen again. It's going to an okay this time. We know what his run after catch potential is. That one safety is creeping up. It's going to be a blitz. This should work perfectly. Throw to Inoke. He's dynamic and electric. And he's short. Fourth and two, but a very manageable fourth down. That ended up working out pretty well. A screen on third and 14 is not advisable. But you got to know your team. And this is going to be... It's another blitz. We back those guys up. Quick snap the ball. Because that safety is going to still creep down. Nope, didn't work at all. I mean, we couldn't snap the ball when I wanted to. Turnover on downs. Offensive line, I mean, I, they're just horrendous. Just horrendous. And 12 yards on third and 14 gives us a really manageable fourth down. Maybe just needed to pass there. Okay. It's not going to wrap up at all. 18 yards. Larkin going to take off. Broken tackle. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing. We have no pass rush. We have nobody that can tackle. There's actually nothing we can do. We're going to need this quarterback to individually make a mistake. That is the only way that something nice is going to happen. Good tackle from Wesley Price. There it is. No pitch from Larkin. Lamar Simmons, the TFL machine, gets in there for a TFL. Third and 13 is tough. Because, I mean, you don't expect to run here. Unless you're playing against me, you probably don't expect a screen. That does actually look like a screen. McBride wants to run. That's not a fumble. All right, that'll work, though. A field goal is fine. Doesn't really hurt us. Still a two-possession game. And this is not a gimme at the college level. A 40-yarder or so, right? But... College kickers miss! Bank! Blank! Bonk! Whatever onomatopoeia you want to use, it's no good. I'll tell you though, onomatopoeia, not a word I expected to be working into a video anytime soon. A word I know how to spell, by the way, in case you guys think I'm just throwing it out there. O N O M A T O P O E I A. Heard that in like sixth sixth grade, never forgot it. Never a math guy, but spelling was always my suit. As we try to throw down the field for Lingard, we find him. It's 19 yards on the outside. Found him late, but he's running a comeback. Instead of a vertical route. Otherwise, that might have been even more. If Geary was able to accurately throw it. All right, offenses. Finding it a bit. Just using the mobility. Ooh, that was almost insane and crazy. And I could have seen that being an interception as well. Second and 10. We're getting slightly pass happy here. But we're going to try and use the mobility of Geary. Yep. Get out, Geary. Get out. We saw the blitz. 
Geary scrambles for 14. Geary has potential, man. He's got, you know, arm talent. He's got a strong arm. It's occasionally very accurate. And he's got speed. He just can't stay healthy, and he's not consistent. Belcher's crushing it, by the way. Maybe an okay on a drag. Everything else is vertical. He's underneath. Geary scrambles again. Sliding, avoiding hits. First down. This counter run out of shotgun was one of my favorite plays back when this game was out. I don't think Belcher has the speed. He just had to cut it inside. But that can be a really good play if you have a lot of speed. You just run that to the outside. Just take advantage of having better athletes. Didn't end up happening on this occasion. Second and nine. We have options out of the backfield. Our running back is option number one. The commissioner, Jimmy Gordon. He just gets five, though. It's okay. It's third and very manageable. We have a Texas an angle route coming out of the backfield. Daniel Belcher. I wonder how they defend that. Hopefully not well. Belcher can't reel it in. Kind of like tunnel vision there. I looked to the outside, didn't didn't see what I wanted. And of course, may have to go for it. Although I can't come out and call a screen. I, I, don't, I can't run the ball, obviously. I can't call a screen. I need something where we have other options. Where improvisation can lead to success. Because if you just come out and run the play, and it's not blocked well, or they read the screen, you're screwed. Great route from Inoke! He can't catch it! Thought we had it. Turnover on downs. I mean, great route. Just could not survive the contact. And now we're asking our defense to come up bigger than they've been able to play the entire game. Still very much in this, but, you know, not scoring on that drive at all. Tough. 30 to 23, I don't really care about. Obviously, it's a one possession game, but we really haven't shown the ability to stop Hawaii very much. Which is why I need, you know, I need touchdowns. Just, it's just so tough. We have really one quarter remaining. We're approaching the fourth. Down by ten. We got to figure out a way to stop this running attack. And we've not really been able to do it so far. Quarterback changing directions. Pitches. It's a huge play. But it might be coming back. There's a flag. Clipping. Love a good clip. All right. That is catching a big time break on the quarterback, no less, after the pitch. Only makes it first and 12, but it's better than it what it would have been. First and 10 from the 50. Okay. Make a stop. We know the quarterback doesn't want to throw. There he goes. McBride runs past him and he slides. I'm I'm tip I'm tapping the tackle button and nothing's happening. Sometimes that happens when they're weaving. And they just move so fast in this game. It's so impossible to defend. It really is. End of the third quarter. Down by 10. Defense still... You know, it, it comes down to them, essentially. We need a stop. Or two. Quarterback's going to take off. It's. I mean, it could be a touchdown here. There's just so much space. I do not know what to do. I know I've said that for most of the game here. He's a little bit more successful when I was calling my own plays. But if we if we cover down the field, the QB just scrambles and we can't stop it. We don't. He just throws to an open man. Maybe just more pressure on the QB. I guess that's all we can do. Oh, you just got to be able to wrap up because this is probably a touchdown now. I didn't pitch it. Larkin gets 12. We can simply not wrap up. If we were able to tackle the first time every time, I mean, Hawaii would have points, right? But not 30. No way. And yet, here they are. About to score 37 on us, probably. We continue to lack the top-end talent. And, I mean, you'd expect that of a team, a community college, right? You know, coming back. We got the death penalty. Trying to rebuild the program. Still somewhat early on in that process, right? You know, you'd expect that. It's not like, you know, 
This is a team full of five-star players. But I just, I need them to play a little bit better. We're able to force a field goal try. This is very makeable. It'll be 33 to 20. Two possession game. We need a touchdown. And then we need a stop. And then we need another touchdown. And at this point with five and a half minutes to go, I'm not sure, you know, how much we can actually run the ball. And that's been our best way to move the football down the field is just Daniel Belcher. How about a throw on the run? Wide open is David Harris. 28-yard pickup. I love the mobility of Geary. When they're blitzing, they're not containing. And we've been able to use his mobility, get on the run, and he's been throwing the ball accurately on the run. Nice catch from Lingard. Maybe his only catch of the entire game. Now you might have two. He's three. That's three now. Oh, okay. That safety's creeping up. We got to get rid of the football. Lingard open. Safety came up. Come, came up. <laughs> Safety came up and made a play. Um, yeah, tried to get rid of the football for the pressure. Lingard was open up the seam. And obviously the post part of that route leads him right towards the free safety who comes away with the interception. I would still do it again. I'd choose to throw, you know, right at his break. I see what happened, but... I still think I, I, I make that same mistake over and over and over again. I, I'm throwing right as he breaks and let it right to the free safety. I just think the free safety made a play. I just don't know in that spot with the pressure, seeing the safety creep up. I don't know how I don't get tricked into making that same mistake time and time again. One of those tough plays. and That, unfortunately, might be the game. They're up by two possessions with the football. Four and a half minutes to play. We would need a lot to go our way. We, our offense, as bad as our defense has been. How? How? I, that, it's a joke. That's an absolute joke. I was going to say, as bad as our defense has been, our offense has really let us down. You can't be expected to score every possession. But these guys were particularly horrendous today. Particularly terrible. And certainly a lot of that's on me. This play is unbelievable. Though. There's just so much BS in this game. One, that should be a TFL. Boom. Broken tackle. And then he, he's able to pitch it without looking, of course. Floater. And here, I mean, the ball is caught through the linebacker, McBride. There is a 0% chance that that ball should ever be caught. How could that possibly be caught? And then, boom. Get run over. Easy touchdown. That's one of the most insane plays I've ever seen. We were not supposed to win this game. It's clear and obvious. And it's intercepted. Trying to launch down the field for Lingard. DB looked more like the receiver than Justin Lingard did. We just took a chance. I think at this point in the game, down by 20 minutes to go, you have to. But yeah, Lingard, seemingly no ability to play wide receiver at all. Uh, tough freshman year, forced to start. But yeah, this one is over. Okay, this could very well be our last offensive play of the game. Fourth and four. Obviously, we've kind of already waved the white flag here. But, I mean, we're, we're still trying to win, I guess. I just can't imagine a scenario where it happens. Because if we score, it's still 28 to 40 with less than a minute to go. I mean, it'd be the craziest comeback of all time. We do have three timeouts, right? Steven Jones taking a beating for nothing. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just like... Multiple onside kicks. If it happens, I mean, great, but... <laughs> my expectations could not be lower. Fourth and one. Game on the line. Touchdown, Clarence Johnson. Game it was never on the line. <laughs> it is over. We'll go for it, I guess, but if we don't get the onside kick, I'm not calling timeouts. There just simply isn't a point. Nice catch, David Harris. It's going to end up looking closer than it ended up being. But, you know, can't win them all. And we're on a, a bit of a losing streak here, unfortunately, lately. Don't out of time this. 
That's surely not how you do it. And that's going to be actually a touchdown to end the game. Very cool. Ran commit middle, they went to the outside. They got that touchdown back. Congrats to them. They really needed it. 47 28. And Hawaii improves to 6 and 6. We drop to 6 and 6. Uh, real collapse at the end of the year here. Three losses consecutively. Not a whole lot of momentum heading into the offseason, but yeah, I don't know. Defense has been tough, and our offense... I mean, scoring 28 points is not especially bad. Pretty good. Okay, I'm not saying, you know... I'm not trying to be a professional player. We all know that. But I'm saying, if you, t if you look at a college football team, scoring 28 points is going to be enough to win you a lot of games. Depending on conference and opponent, obviously. Uh, not today. You give up 47. Our defense has just been really, really bad. Something we really need to focus on. Not like we can get better in the transfer portal. Not really a thing at this point. I mean, it is, it, it, it does exist at this time, but not in the way it does today. So, so when EA Sports College Football 25 comes out, see what it looks like. I'm sure, the transfer portal will be a huge thing. It has to be. But all we can do are take our recruits and hope you know, some of our players develop over time. So that is the regular season. Of course, we're not going to be playing in the conference championship, but because we won six games, we were able to qualify for a bowl game. It's going to be some really shit bowl, like the, I don't know, the guaranteed rate uh, tax advantage plus bowl. Not even a thing. But we did get a couple commitments. Corner Earl McCaskill and corner Olu Cunningham. Our secondary gets better. Earl McCaskill is a very big commit. Let me break it down as to why. And getting Olu Cunningham, I'm not going to complain about either. Let's check this out at corner. Really going after four, got three of them. Start with Olu Cunningham. Got his commitment over schools like Texas State, South Carolina, North Texas, ULM. Really wants to go to the south, being from Minnesota is interesting. Ends up going out west to Riverside. 94 speed, electric, not much of a tackler, but 75 man, 80 zone, 70 press. That's a good developmental corner. A lot to work with, six foot 200. But Earl McCaskill, on the other hand, is, Blonde Lynch is actually terrible. Don't worry about him. Earl McCaskill, six foot 281, or excuse me, 181, 281 to be absurd. 92 speed, 85 acceleration. 93 man, 87 zone, 79 press. Already an elite cover player. As a freshman, he will compete to start right away. Huge, huge signing. I can see Olu Cunningham getting on the field as well. And we're also going after, uh, or we did go after an athlete, Xavier Harris, who I expect to play corner also. 94 speed, 84 man, 82 zone, 86 play rec. Tackling is just 58. He's a true corner. He could work on the field pretty quickly as well. With 86 play rec too, I mean, I don't expect his overall to be very bad. He looks like a very solid corner. And we're going to be playing the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Wow. Tough not to get excited for that one. As Bama running back Tyrone Wagner wins the Heisman. I think we faced him. Pretty tough. Pretty tough player. And we'll be facing Toledo. Man, that can't miss game. Toledo versus Riverside. Two six-win teams going at it. Can't wait. And as for the offseason, Flo Kelsey, Trey Watson, DeMond Horton, DeKeith and Kasher, Joquarius Huff, Chris Christian, and Melquan Azubu, some of the top guys that remain unsigned or uncommitted. So everyone that commits is going to sign, but and Trey Watson, we need to improve our offensive line. He's good. Very good player. Getting a linebacker that can actually play linebacker, very important. I would say your Aquarius Huff is good. The difference is the block shedding. 
Kelsey can tackle but can't shed blocks. Huff doesn't tackle as well but can shed blocks better. Neither are particularly fast. Maybe just getting both would be good. Horton can really tackle but can't shed blocks at all. That's a problem. I don't know what's going to happen. But Ethan Casher will be the focus. Trey Watson maybe number two. Then got to land a linebacker. Chris Christian, we don't really need. I don't think we're going to pursue him that much. Maybe slightly. But it, the focus has got to be on Kelsey, Watson, Asher, and Huff. But let's go ahead and hop in. We'll play the famous Idaho Potato Bowl against the Toledo Rockets. That'll be fun. Toledo is an 83 overall to our 75. And it's important to remember that everyone we play is a better team than we are. We are the underdog in every game. Maybe it's it's a magical season that we've managed to win six games in the first place. So that's an interesting way of looking at it. Of course, this will be the final game for a number of different players that you guys may have been accustomed to seeing over the past season or two. And it's snowing. We really, we, we qualified for a bowl game just to go out and play in the snow. This is like the vacation hotspot time of the year for these guys. You get to go down to Florida or somewhere in the south, somewhere warm, play a bowl game, have a party. Idaho potato bowl and we're playing in the snow. Unreal. I think we're in Boise, Idaho. That would check out, but I think this is uh, the Boise State blue field. Looks a little bit different with the snow on top of it. Here's a strategy to win this one. Run the football, limit Toledo possessions, win the game. Obviously not much is on the line except for pride, but we're just trying to win the game. Let's get it done. Kind of containing the QB scramble here with Geary. They didn't contain it all that well, but they had DBs, of course, in the flat to come up and make the play. Thankfully, Geary didn't get injured on that play. We only get two, but it could have been a sack. Could have been worse. And we might try the screen. I never really like throwing it to Justin Lingard. We'll see how they defend it. Trying to buy time. It's just not the same. It just works better with Anoke. I don't know how or why. Anoke, a better athlete. But there's always a ton of space when we throw him that screen versus... Lingard, there never really seems to be. Tried to step up with Geary. He simply didn't move. So, not sure what we're supposed to do there when I'm hitting right trigger and holding up. He kind of thought about it and then decided against it. It's not really your call when I'm controlling you. Step up! We might actually lose to Toledo as well. I mean, they just look faster, better already. Zero points on our first drive. We'd love to do that. Their new favorite thing to do. I don't know what happened to the offense. Am I just not running the ball enough? That has to be it, right? Has to be. Because it's uh, not good. It's going to end up being a touchdown. We can't stop Toledo. Or can we? Nope, it would have been a pick, but I, I tried to step up and so did the receiver. <laughs> or can we? Nope, still can't. Still can't. Minute and a half to play here in the first quarter. It's flying by. Toledo looking like the better team right now. And they capitalize with a touchdown. We can't score, but we can't stop teams from scoring. It's a pretty bad combination for winning football game. No defense and no offense. It's, I mean, it's very frustrating. Every play just needs to be a run. And if I think about passing, just get out to a run. There's Belcher. That's what we need to do. Do not pass. Go, Belcher. I'll tell you, though, what's interesting is I feel like at times this season, our defense was actually pretty good. Playing better than expected. But these last several games, man, we can't stop anybody. I don't know what happened, but it's like a flip switched. Nope, a switch flipped. And we just simply are incapable of even preventing a first down. We force no punts. I'm passing, which I said we shouldn't be ever doing. But did it. It worked out enough. Garrett, Geary, a lot of athleticism. But even more so, again, the offense, 
if you go out and look at actual scoring numbers for teams in the NCAA, you average 28 points per game. That's still pretty good. We average, I think, 28 points per game on the nose. Four touchdowns a game on average. And we allow so many. I'm not trying to score a touchdown. I mean, I, I guess I am trying to score a touchdown every possession. But if you're looking for realistic numbers, if, especially a team like this, you're not scoring once a possession. If we ran the ball every play, you know, maybe that works. Some teams do stop it. Right now, Toledo not stopping the run. But if every drive looks like that, it gets a little bit boring. But obviously, you know, I want to win. Pound the rock, score touchdowns, win games. That's got to be the way. Seven plays, 66 yards. The only pass play turned into a quarterback scramble. And we've tied it up. Ooh, was that a touchdown? Sure could have been. <laughs> what is going on with the defense? What is it? I mean, we ran into a block with McBride. Maybe I just need a user of safety or something else. Maybe the CPU linebackers can play better than I can. In fact, they probably can, right? Play a safety, bring them out of the play. Good stuff. Is Bailey looking to run? The throw back across his body. Obviously, that was going to get completed. There is a flag. Got to be a hold, right? Flipping. How could that really even have occurred? We accept the penalty to make it first and eight. How is that even a penalty? First and eight is pretty good. Like, that's not a penalty. They're just getting first and eight. I don't know. That feels dumb. How about loss of down? Or you actually lose yards to make it first and 15 or something. First and eight. Dumb. It's a pitch that's successful. Ow. It's really a first down every time Toledo snaps the ball. They get just enough for a first down. Broken tackles. That's the first time I, I remember seeing second down in a while. I feel like it's been four or five first downs in a row somehow. And it's been very tough to stop. Come on, McBride. Make a play. There's the pitch. McBride forces him out of bounds. We'll take that, I guess. Second and 27. Expecting a pitch. Didn't come. Didn't matter. McBride makes the tackle. We are actually forcing a field goal attempt. That's unreal. Uh, it needs to be a false start. Thank you. Still a very makeable field goal, of course. And in fact, maybe you even prefer it moving back slightly because you get, get a little bit more space to get the football up. Still probably have enough that short, but this gives you a little bit more space to elevate and just kind of make it a chip shot. 10-7 Toledo. Three minutes to go until halftime. We want to make this the last possession of the first half. Three-minute drive, touchdown, lead going into halftime. That's ideal. That's the goal. Actually called a screen on first down. How about a run on second down? Belcher, plenty of space. They're really just giving us that. And if we continue to get first downs, we can actually still run the ball. And the clock is still going to be on our side. Still chewing clock here. Want to make sure this is the last possession. But look at the space for Daniel Belcher. Already over 100 yards in the first half as a team. He's got 96 of them. And I'm still, I'm, I'm definitely watching that clock. A minute and a half. How about a pass play? Quick throw. Nope. Second and 10 run. It's working today. I'll tell you that much. Belcher gets 11. All right, second and 10. Kind of have to pass now. That's open. Lingard makes the catch. We're curry up off that. That's an unbelievable throw from Geary. Trying to find the open man. I did not expect it to work out like that. But not going to complain about the result. That's for sure. But a cross screen, we just can't get it out. I mean, the running back's completely trapped. We're going to call a timeout. I don't know what we're supposed to do in that spot. Our actual only read on the screen was the running back who couldn't get past the line of scrimmage. And we're sacked again. Third and 26. Man, this fell apart quickly. Third and 26. Now we need, like, a miracle play to happen. Oh, Geary. That was actually disgusting. Sure, I tried to actually pass. 
Uh, what a disaster end to this first half for us. Back-to-back -back sacks completely killed us. Is there any hope for a field goal here? It is a 55-yarder. Absolutely no hope. I'm not punting. So, go out there and try to get it. Fourth and 21. It's the bowl game also. I, I, it's not who cares, but it's, you know. It's a bowl game. Might as well have a little bit of fun with it. Throw over the middle. Dropped by Steven Jones. That was the first down. He had it. He had it right in his hands. Didn't catch it. Can't really throw a much better ball than that. I don't know how you drop that. Ooh, and that's caught somehow. Keep him in bounds. Here we go. Here we go. I'm okay with the yardage. Just don't let him score. 49 yard catch and run to end the first half. Toledo up, uh, Toledo up 10 to seven. Yeah, it, it is what it is, right? You know, they're a good team. They've been tough to stop offensively. And we just collapsed at the end of the first half offensively. So we have two quarters to get it done. We're only down by three. A stop against Toledo is not impossible. Get a stop. Let's get a score. Let's take the lead. Didn't happen to end the first half. That's okay. New half. New opportunities. We can do this. Throwing down the field and caught. This quarterback is really threading the needle. He hasn't had to pass very often, but when he does, he is perfect. 7 for 7 for 139 yards. It doesn't matter how tight the coverage appears. He has found a way to just get it right where it needs to be. I don't know what's worse. You know, letting them pass or letting them run. We don't really have an answer for anything at the moment. Toledo stays perfect. Maybe the QB is a little bit worse against the Blitz. Chris Bailey, I know you want to make a mistake. No, you don't. You don't make mistakes. God don't make no junk. And Chris Bailey. Jury isn't junk. That's what we're seeing so far. Oh, man. This sucks. Our defense is so bad. McBride? Wow. Tackle for loss on Chris Bailey. Thought for sure that'd be a broken tackle turned into a touchdown, but no. Not now. Not yet. Probably still will happen. And touchdown. Lawrence Scott. We can't stop it. Simply can't do it. Third and five. I don't care. I'm going to run the ball anyway. We can't pass. So, Daniel Belcher it is with enough power and he gets it. Okay. Our offense runs through number 31. Anything else is dumb. I might run the ball on fourth and ten if I have to. We can't throw. But when I do throw, just don't make it an actual pass. Make it a screen. It kind of covered it. I don't like that. We're still going to run. Geary took a hit. That's not great. Second and 11. Why am I passing? Because I'm stupid. Let's run at all the defenders. We get two. Nothing over there. They were playing a zone defense. Ran right into it. I just don't like rolling out to the left side. Ah, screen to Lingard. Why, dude? Why is he the one getting this? You're asking for me not to get it. Get it to Anoke. Fourth and five. We are going for it. Who wants to get open? Belcher. Get upfield. First down. If we didn't have Daniel Belcher, we would have nothing. Unfortunate reality. Second and ten. Don't care. Get to a run. Safety blitzing. Don't care. Get to a run. Belcher looking for space, couldn't quite find it. There was enough there for a really nice play if we could just do anything but run into the back of the offensive lineman. It'll be third and four. I bet you can guess who's going to get it. Daniel Belcher right up the middle. One linebacker to beat. Hit the hole perfectly. Good block. Daniel Belcher. Gain of more than 20. This game is not over. He's had 160 rushing yards. We approach the end of the third quarter. They'll never expect the pass now. I don't know where to go with it. Crossbody. That is the end of the third quarter. Down by 10. I'm looking to change that. Look at those two defensive tackles. Read option. Good work. Geary kind of shut down after two. I can still see read option being effective. I'm going to go back to it. 
a red Geary. I thought I hit X quickly enough. Apparently not. Fourth and goal. I'm not kicking the field goal. Not going to do it. And here's why. I don't think we can hold them to a field goal or less. Maybe I'm wrong. And if we do, you know, no harm, no foul. But 17-7, 17-10 better, but you're going for it. Quick throw. I, why does it come out so late? He's wide open. I hit triangle. Nothing happens. Throw the ball. Oh, my God, dude. Why is it 10 seconds after I want it to happen? It should be instant. Snap, throw, snap, throw. Throw the damn football, man. Bryce, what a tackle. I don't really call Wesley Price's name too much anymore. His downfall has actually been spectacular. And it's not even just that he's bad and allowing a ton of big plays. It just seems to be more so that he doesn't actually do anything. And he used to do all types of things. And that's wide open. I'm telling you, we, we can't stop him. There's no point. There's actually nothing we can do. I've blitzed. I've come out in zone. I've come out in different formations. They just continue to move the ball. We are simply not good enough. I know that's a tough realization to come to and a tough pill to swallow. But we are not good enough. We cannot hang with Toledo right now. There's a nice play, but we don't really get too many of those. And when we're out here and our passing defense is allowing a completion per attempt, an unbelievable ratio, we have no chance. And every time they run the ball, it's nine or 10 yards. What do we do against that? We can't come up and tackle. Not fast enough, not strong enough. Here's third and one. Trying to make a play. Tried to do too much there, but it, and it was never going to happen. And I'll tell you, here's the problem also. Is that the whole team sucks, right? And my user in run defense, not particularly good. It's just a tough thing to do to change direction in this game. It just doesn't work. Really, it really doesn't. But if I'm not the one making the play, the CPU has to. Or, and they don't. The CPU won't. So it has to be me, and that's a tough thing to deal with. First down, Toledo. Read option. I'll tell you what. It's been a, it's been a brutal run at the end of the season here. I'm just excited to graduate all of these dog shit seniors and develop some of these newer players. Out with the old, in with the new. It's, it's mostly a team of garbage. We are trying to develop, but it, it simply is brutal when our defense is incapable of getting a stop. It means there is zero margin for error on offense. And I need more than zero margin for error. I just simply need more than that because I am not the guy, obviously, that runs the ball every single play successfully, scores a touchdown, rinse and repeat. It just hasn't it hasn't been the case. So every time we try to throw its pressure, really even looking down the field there, trying to do some Johnny Manziel, three receivers in the area, zero can catch the ball. A minute and 39 seconds to play. We got destroyed. We could not get a stop. And it turns out that that can be pretty important for winning a football game is getting a stop. I think we got zero. We forced one field goal. But I think every time Toledo touched the football, they scored. And that's pretty difficult to contend with. Steven Jones, 45 yard touchdown perceived chance now to win the game but we won't we just can't we can't win it it's our 50th touchdown of the season and going for two for morale we got it wow we do have timeouts but we would need a miracle try a little dribbler how's this gonna look recovered instantly of course 
Ooh, that's a first down, surely. Yep, and that's the ball game. Shit angle, team sucks. We lose the ball game. It's like, what, is that four or five straight losses? Alabama was a loss. Army, yeah, Army. That led into uh, Hawaii. No, Stanford. Alabama, Army, Stanford, Hawaii, Toledo. Brutal end to the season. Obviously not what we wanted. No kidding. Uh, I'm not going to dwell on it. This was a building year. And we made a bowl game. It's an improvement on last year, but the end of the season, I mean, just could not do anything. And yes, I need to be better individually on offense, but on defense, somebody else needs to do something. Our defense needs to be capable of getting a stop. Terrible, terrible team. Now, I'm sure it's happened, but I genuinely can't remember the last time I was as frustrated the season. Any team I've ever had in any franchise. Like, obviously, the first couple seasons of Riverside and Lions franchise and, and all those Madden franchises are usually pretty tough. But this stretch was just absolutely demoralizing. It was loss after loss after loss after loss. And that's the end of this season. Next episode will be the off season. And I just, I don't know that there's enough talent coming into the team to change a whole lot next season. Development's going to be big for these guys, getting plus three, four, five, their overalls. But man, he was brutally bad to end the season gotta be better and what happens in the offseason gotta get at least three of our top targets i would say aiming for four or five would be great but at least three big improvement on 2034 but it just felt like we should have done better than we did in 2035 i don't know why it feels worse turn the program around but it seems worse so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.